Right, hello everyone, back to a new video today. Playing with distraction all around, as I have the notifications on, and see how I will perform while being uh, distracted. Obviously, I'm not expecting the best, but let's see. Right, he's playing the pride liver when he's attacking this pawn right here. We'll simply go for my go to line, which is this dubious knight d4 move. And. Yeah, there are various ways of continuing, but the best line here is C3 for white. Um, that's what computers have, at least. And then we'll continue with H6. There are also different lines with D6, Queen takes, and Bishop takes F7, which is also really good for white. Uh, but we'll see. He plays C3. Let's go ahead and play H6. There's also C B5 in that line, but let's just play it simple. And we're already 30 seconds ahead, which is nice, but obviously we're not going to play this um, as fast as possible. He decides to take, which is fine. We just take, and if he takes, we just take back. It's all going to be fine. And, okay, he gives the check. He gives the check. I guess we could play this. could also just move the king here. And that seems to be fine as well. Actually, let's just do that. Like, who cares? Queen c2, bishop f5, blocking. So I don't see the. The, the, the. How do you say this? The downside of playing it. And it will take him time to. Just, I think he will be, go like bishop d3, but then I think I have queen e8, and then if king f1 in that situation, after that check, I have queen b4, maybe? But he goes for this, which is actually really, which I really missed, actually. So I guess the line goes like takes, takes, and then maybe bishop takes. And I don't see any checks for him. Yeah, I don't think this is good, but it's very, very cr creative of our opponent. We can also give a check first. How does he block? Yeah, I think we don't have to take immediately. We can give a check first. Because he has to move the king then, because he's there's no way he can block. So let's give a check first. And then we go and take... I guess, or is there any better move? There's also this. Oh wait, then I'm blundering the queen. Okay, let's not do that. Or we could try that in desperate times. You know, desperate times, desperate measures. That's what they say, right? We could try to prepare that trick, right? Like here we're risking a queen. But, you know, if you play a6 and he doesn't see that the queen is looking at the queen, you know, since I missed it, chances are someone else misses it too. But no, he, he sees it. Well, or he doesn't. And here's pleasure bash move. So... What I'm seeing here is that the bishop has a good place, the knight has a good place. The queen is actually quite decently placed, but my rooks are not really active. My king is still in the middle. So these are my problem points in this position, I would say. What he wants to do is play knight e2, knight e4. What I want to do is develop the rooks, maybe to the open file. But my queen is a bit in the way. So I'm going to calculate. Like I was thinking, let's go queen c6, attacking the bishop. Then he goes knight e2. So queen c6, knight e2. Then maybe we go rook here. But actually, we also have queen c2 here. Hmm. But queen c6 just looks really appealing to me because I'm one attacking a bishop, which is undefended. I'm forcing him to play knight e2 basically, and I might have some 
ideas like this come for me already. So it does play 92. And now I'm wondering if I should just play this immediately. Because I'm threatening mate. Would only ask queen f3? Yeah, and after queen f3 I don't really know. So... Since I don't really know what I'm doing, I'm just gonna go for rook e8. Just developing my worst piece because I'm not really sure about this queen c2 maneuver. I always have queen c2 later. And then he can play like something like this. But now he has at least problems developing the knight. Like I, I yeah, he could still do it. Because after takes, there's take. You can take like this, then takes, takes. Yeah, it's not what I wanted, actually. Maybe I should go for queen here, now. I'm at least attacking this. If he takes here, it's with check. That's also problematic. Yeah, I underestimated 94, that's, that's a bit problematic. I also have rook e5 here. Basically forcing the queen back and then I can just go here. I like this move. Let's go here. So he does drop back. Now we can just go here with other rook. We doubled our rooks, and that's basically the plan we had. So it takes. That's actually really clever. That's actually really clever. Because now if I take, he can take this, right? Yeah. Very good move. But now I can take here. And after take, we can take here. Wait. Rook takes e4. If Holland takes e4, we have takes on g G7 pawn takes on h6. And we're we having some decent compensation for what we got. Should be good. Let's go. And now we take the bishop.
Hmm. You could just go for the end game. It looks very interesting. You can also try to not go for the end game. Let's go for the end game because we're also up a pawn, and it's very interesting to see how our pieces will navigate through this. Um, to the complications, basically. So I guess it's either rook or knight takes. And the knight seems to be at home here, but I don't really know. Let's go for knight. It's uh, my intuitive decision. And let's support this pawn. Maybe I can activate the bishop this way. And I'm always down to exchange stuff here. So let's see. Let's try to activate this bishop. Let's go here. Activating the bishop. Now we have a quite a happy bishop, I would say. Now what? Maybe rook e6. If he doubles up, he does up. He can't, because my bishop is here. That's a very nice observation when <laughs> so it's preparing this move. So I guess we just go c5 here. And after b4, we might even go d3. But he decides to blunder his rook, so let's take that. And we win. Okay, nice. It was a good game. I think... I wasn't really sure whether I played this all correctly. Because after... This move, I really thought I was somewhat better, because your... White didn't develop anything, this pawn is really strong. After, yeah, well, actually, the main reason like this better is because of king safety, maybe, in hindsight. We went here, and he kind of agrees with all my moves. This was apparently not the best move. I think Engine wants me to sack. Yeah, he does want me to sack. But I don't see the continuation here. Like, I could try to go hit like this, but that doesn't look good. What about... This check, no, like, I have no clue how to continue this. Let's say I go here, and he kind of agrees with me that, and then we take, nope. What am I missing here? Maybe I can just go back. Apparently there's a tactic here, maybe queen here. Because the bishop really doesn't long anywhere yeah <laughs> now you have to go back and have mates or well actually you just lose the piece if i play that that's crazy bishop d2 queen c2 and you're lost yeah the bishop has no place to be and if you play well after rook here b3 i, I guess you just go like this you try this to take here and try to mate there, that's crazy. So after this, I would say you are really doomed. You're really doomed here. Well, even like queen c2. Very strong move. Like, what do you do? Like, you're treading mate and you're treading to take the rook. Wow. All right. But after queen f3, I brought this in. Yeah, this was a really nice tactic and I'm glad it worked out and now i decided to take to straight everything off and i felt like this end game was quite decent to say the least didn't realize that the bishop was so strong here and in the end the pressure fell to him and this is what happened so even though i was very distracted there's the game 
and I cannot think and I'm quite flustered and stuff. I still managed to uh, win. Very happy with the win. Uh, see you guys next time.